Good morning everyone, Will again here. So today is one of the most important days on the farm. It's the day the tups are going in. So the plan of action today is to get all the ewes in, split them up into their tupping groups and get the tups in. So if you do enjoy the video today guys, please give it a massive like and if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Hope you enjoyed today guys. Cheers! First job of the day, I'm gonna get all the ewes into this little paddock here. You can see I'm through there, up to there. And yeah, we're gonna get those in and then I'm gonna go and set the handling system up. So just got to unlock this gate here and we'll get them in. So in the block at the moment, we've just got about over 150 ewes and we'll split them up into four tupping groups. So what we'll do is Kelby Goliath will have a few more than the rest because he's proven and the rest will have them split evenly. Um, yeah, and that's the plan with today. I've already written the tupping groups up, so I've looked at genetics, signet indexes, as well as looks at the ewes, see which um, tups would suit which ewes. So that's the plan today. Um, we'll just go down the bun now, and we'll try and move the ewes on. All the ewes moved up right to the paddock before where the handling system is going to be. So plan now is to build the handling system up and get the ewes in and split them up. Right, let's um, crack on and do it. They have fun, fun, fun when they're moving to the beat. And it gets to win a dancing floor. And moving gets so easy, feeling easy to me. And it makes you kicking up what's so so that's the handling system set up, and now I'm going to pop all the U's up there and in. Good night, yeah. That's... Once they go. If you come. So that's all the sheep in now. It was a bit of a fast, but the lad that was muck spraying across the field, Robbie, that's singing farms with us, he helped me get them in. So. All the ewes are now in. It was these lot here that were a pain in the ass. So yeah, now we're going to split them up into topping groups. Hope that goes a lot quicker. So here we are next to the race. So the plan now is to obviously put the ewes into group. I've got a piece of paper which tells me all of the ewes and the breeding as well as suggested tops. So the first top um, I'm going to pick you ewes out for is um, South um, Indiana Jones. So we're going to pick 40 up him, um, let's get to it. So that's the first 15 loaded for South from Indiana Jones, they're ready. We'll just load the bottom deck now and we'll go and take his views to him.
going good. So that's the first lot I use loaded, they're all ready. They're all in the trailer, both decks full. Let's go drop them off. So we're now on to the next group, we're going to pick out all of Goliath's um, use now, so there'll be about 50 in this group. So yeah, that's the plan now, and what I might do is do two at the same time this time, so I may pick out hashtags as well. So that's the second group done, that's hashtag shoes done. I've let them out onto the grass to free some space up. So they're going back on the fields that they've already been grazing. So the plan is now, as I've only got a shedding gate, it goes one of two ways, so it's been a bit of a pain, but now I only need to shed them two ways, it should go fairly quick. So I'm gonna do Goliaths, and the homebred top. So that's the plan now. So we're just on to the last few ewes now, so here we are, we've got a few more in there but I'm going to come back in the morning and finish it off because I've got a cricket club meeting. We've filled the top deck, so these are all for Goliath and also all these, so we've got those two lots to sort and I'll go drop these in the field and go to the meeting and come and do the final touch use tomorrow and just make sure there's nothing that shouldn't be in there. Right, that's what I'm going to do now. So that's the uh, ewes loaded for Goliath, I was really lucky because I left the GoPro on the trailer and drove up. Um, it also got <coughs> by the use, which isn't good, but it's safe. Let's go on, unload them, and then I'm done for the day. Good morning everyone, so I'm back with the ewes this morning, they're all here, there's not many to go at. I'm going to finish these off and it shouldn't take me much more than half an hour hopefully, so I'll get them into the system and get them done. Here's what I like, laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes, laughing with my friends under the sky, following a hot set then take a ride. Terry, hello. I always try to let my spirit fly, fly. That's the only way to get that high, high. So in case one of the use hops a fence, what I do is mark all the groups with certain colours. So for guy for marking them with an orange marker on the shoulder. So just pop a little orange marker. So yeah, that's just so we know that they're in the right field. And if anything hops a fence, we know that most likely it could be tucked by another tuck because obviously the pedigree lines, we don't want false 
parentage on the um, offspring. So that's Goliath's shoes loaded up. We're just going to scan all these into the system so I know exactly what years are going to the home bred tup. And then we're done. We just go go and get the tups. That's all the used for this group scanned in, so I'm going to pop them back in the field and then get the group that's grazing here and pop them in another field ready for the top. The only sheep we have left now is Terry. All right, buddy. So he's going to come out of the ewes as his job's done. Isn't it, mate? So I'm now in with the tup. It's, I'm with South from Indiana Jones. So he's here now. So the plan of action now is before we put the tups in, we've got to put a harness on the top, which then has a crayon on it. So I'll show you that now. So this is the harness here. We pop this on round the top. Then we have a crayon, which we've also got here, so that goes in the harness, so when he tops the ewes, we know they've been topped, so we know he's doing his job. So I'll crack on, put the harness on, I'll do it, and I'll film it so you can see. So the crayon just slips into the harness, just like so. And then we pop the pin through, like that. And then we bend the pin back so it doesn't catch his legs. So, Oh, like that. So it's flat both sides. Harness now on is ready for action. That's a homebred top now loaded too. He's got a red rattle on. That's what they call the Marcus. I've just been to go and grab the other two tops. We've got Goliath and Hashtag in the trailer now. I'm going to have to pop them in the stables to the harness because there's just not enough room for me in the tops doing the harnesses in there. So that's the plan, we'll pop those in the stable, then take them to the ladies. Somebody. So we're now at the second field of use. I'm gonna let Goliath out now, so just undo it. I'll try and put all the tops on their own in the front and move them up as we need them. So there he is there. If he, I'll open this too and he'll probably come out. So there he is. Now he just needs to jump out with the ladies. Come on, boy. Come on, out you come. Come on, fella. Take that step. I'm going to have to put it. There he goes. Straight to the ears. So if you did notice, there is, um, he's lost some more on his back. That's because he got struck. Uh, so when I mean struck, he some flies laid eggs on it in his wool and uh, maggots came out. That's what fly struck him. But luckily we caught him early and all he did was lay um, in his wool. So he lost the wool, but he's got no scars. He's just lost the wool because that's what's happened. But yeah, we'll go on to the next field now and let one of the other tups out. Oh, 
So that's the third tub in. We put hashtag in with his here. So we just got one tub left. So we got the homebred tub in here. This is Ignite My Fire. Hello, mate. Hello. So yeah, we'll go and pop in with his. Go on, buddy. So that's the final tup in with the ewe, so I'm going to come back later to see how they're getting on. I'm going to pop off wrapping for the afternoon now, and yeah, leave them to do the job. We'll see how they're doing in a bit, and then leave them to it. So it's the morning after again. Unfortunately, last night I got too busy wrapping. It went on till dark, so I couldn't come down. But um, I'm just in with Goliath now, so he's over there, as you can see, just there. And I've been to count up how many bums are uh, orange. And he has took one new last night, which isn't a lot, but first night in it can be loads or not a lot. But yeah, if I can get an image now, I'll show you what it looks like when they're tucked. So there on the left of the screen is the ewe that's been tucked. You see the one just there with an orange bum. I'll see if I can get any closer. So what this is, is when the rattle has come off the tuck when she's been mounted. And by doing this, we know which um, ewes in the group have been tucked. So we can see day by day how the tub's getting on. So now I'll pop over to the next group, see how they're getting on. Just now at the second group, so we're down at South from Indiana Jones, so he's there, just in the middle. Um, same story again, he's only took one last night, which uh, isn't a lot really, sometimes there's quite a lot in the first night, but I suppose the girls will come on heat soon, whatever, but um, it's a bit funny. May mean that Terry's not done his job properly, but yeah. All the use there and is in the middle. Real smart bunch of use here, so we've tried to pick the use out this year to match the tops. So if you notice, there'll be slightly different types with the different tops, and we've also gone a bit on index this year. So each top's got some of the higher index use. Sorry, the train's just going past, but yeah, that's um, Indiana Jones is. Um, group let's go to the next so we're in with the third tub now so we're at hashtag there he is just there so similar kind of thing going on here there's only another group with one been tucked um think about it we only put um terry in for 14 days so a lot of these should come on to heat the next couple of days which is normal we don't normally expect loads in the first couple of days and then all of a sudden they can have a night where they have an absolute party if that's what you want to call it. But yeah, there he is, he's following a you now, so. All looking good, all chill grazing. We'll go to the final group where we've got the homebred tuck now. They're definitely liking their new lick buckets from the Northern Nutrition. So these are pre-tupping buckets. We're just in the field now with the fourth group of you, so I'll show you them. Just in with the fourth group now. Just got the tuck there. So that's Cali Hill, Ignite My Fire. Uh, I think we're just going to call him fire because it's a bit of a mouthful, but he's got 30 odd ewes too and um, he's um, mounted too, but not too much, so I probably don't think he's been tucked yet. There's been a slow start this year, don't think um, we've had it this slow yet, but as said before, Terry's um, only been in for 14 days, so it could be a couple of days to a lot come on heat. Uh, as you may notice, Terry is still in this group because him being an idiot jumped out last night and got him with this group and uh, we caught split him up then so I'm going to try and get him out at some point in the next couple of days so he doesn't fight with the tuck but with this many females I should be fine because not got a lot, sorry there's a lot to fight over but yeah that's the final group and I'll just show you them again the homebred tuck really smart feet in all four corners, sorry legs in all four corners, walks really well He's out of Bronock Gwyn that sadly passed away and he's got a red crayon on. So as I said before, we know if they've been tucked because the crayon would mark on their bum. So yeah, I'll um that's it for today really. So that's just done for today. We've uh, got all the tops in, it's only taken three days to do the video, but we've been really busy with some grass down. Um I'll try and keep you updated, so hopefully in a week's time I'll keep posting. Well throughout tupping i'll keep posting about the tups and how they're getting on but if you did enjoy the video today guys please give it a massive like if you want to see more stuff like this 
please subscribe don't forget hit the bell below and then you get the notifications when we do videos and the videos are every wednesday saturday at half seven cheers guys hope you enjoyed it